Call the meeting of the City Council for Monday, February 23rd to order. Please stand and join with me as we salute our American flag. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under, under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Good evening, Councilors. It's not snowing out tonight. Welcome. <laughs> Councilor Studinsky. Yes, Mr. President, I make a motion to uh, take collectively numbers one through nine. Second. 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 Motion is to take these <coughs> items, number one through nine, collectively, and I believe suspend the rules and act. I, I was going to make that motion after, but I will bring it okay. up right now. We'll make it all in one. Second. To suspend the rules and act on them this evening. All in favor of that? <coughs> Opposed? Mr. Clerk, would you please read the uh, items? Okay, the following are reappointments as special police officers of the city of Brockton for one year term ending February 2016. Michael Azak, Julie Mastral, Brett Baker, Daniel Vaughn, Jennifer Frizzell Hancock, Theodore Hancock, Kevin A. Smith, Jason Mosley, and David Montrault. The question now is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Would the clerk please call the roll? Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Annapolis. Yes. Wow. Yes. Annery. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Uh, the reappointments have been uh, confirmed. Uh, next item, uh, the Fish Bay National Group proposing to install a new conduit on Montello Street from Center Street to Petronelli Way for the purpose of replacing damaged conduit in that same area. Time having arrived, I declare this hearing open. If there's anyone here in favor, please come forward. I don't think that we have anybody here. Nobody here in. Mr. Uh, President. Councillor uh, DiNapoli. Since. Uh, there's nobody here. We we're gonna, maybe we'll postpone this till the end of the meeting. Second. Motion's and been made. See if they show up. Motion's been made and seconded that we postpone to the end of the meeting. All in favor? Opposed? We'll postpone it until the end of the meeting. I don't care. Next item. The report of the finance committee for its meeting of February 17th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Report of the real estate committee for its meeting of February 17th, 2015. Accepted and placed on file. Communication from the mayor submitting the Mass Gaming and Entertainment LLC host community agreement. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor declaring that as of 12 p.m. on February 14, 2015, a state of emergency exists in the city of Brockton. This declaration of emergency shall remain in effect until notice is given pursuant to my judgment that the state of emergency no longer exists. Accepted and placed on file. Mr. President, I'd like to make uh, um, numbers one through nine, if I could, Councilor, um, motion for reconsideration. I hope this does not prevail. Second. second. Motion has been made and seconded on items one through nine for reconsideration. Hopes it does not prevail. All in favor of reconsideration? All opposed? Reconsideration Thank fails. you, Mr. President. Thank you, Councilor. <coughs> From the mayor requesting that the city council authorize the appropriation of and borrowing authority in the amount of three million eight hundred and sixty one thousand seven hundred and seventy eight dollars for the purpose of repairs and improvements to the Brookfield Elementary School in the form by the city's bond council Lost Lord LLP. Except for the place on file. From the CFO in accordance with section five of chapter three twenty four of the acts of nineteen ninety, certifying the proposed order for an appropriation of and borrowing authority of $3,861,778 for the purposes of making repairs to the Brookfield Elementary School, providing that the mayor is willing to propose and the city council is willing to appropriate sufficient funding from the present unused levy capacity under the levy limit of Proposition 2 and a half to pay for the annual debt service of the project. Accepted and placed Mr. on file. Councilor Dubois. Um, so these are just the communications and when just to just for my understanding when do we refer this to like finance it'll, it'll, it'll be a continue as we go in through the, the ordinance meeting. section exactly. thank you order section thank you you're welcome councillor from the mayor requesting that the city council authorize the appropriation of and borrowing authority in the amount of two million seventy five thousand nine hundred and nineteen dollars for the purpose of repairs and improvements to the Barrett Russell Kindergarten in the form by the city's bond council, Lock Lord LLP. 
Accept and placed on file. And the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed order for an appropriation of and borrowing authority of $2,075,919 for the purposes of making repairs to the Barrett Russell Kindergarten, providing that the Mayor is willing to propose and the City Council is willing to appropriate sufficient funding from the present unused levy capacity under the levy limit of Proposition 2.5 to pay for the annual debt service of the project. Accept and placed on file. And the Mayor requests and at the City Council authorize the appropriation of and borrowing authority in the amount of $2,843,301 for the purpose of repairs and improvements to the Gilmore Early Childhood Center in the form by the City's Bond Council, Lock Lord LLP. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed order for an appropriation <laughs> of and borrowing authority of $2,843,301 for the purposes of making repairs to the Gilmore <coughs> Early Childhood Center, providing that the Mayor is willing to propose <coughs> and the City Council is willing to appropriate sufficient funding from the present unused levy capacity under the levy limit of Proposition 2.5 to, to pay for the annual debt service of the project. Accepted and placed on file. From the Mayor requesting that the City Council authorize the appropriation of and borrowing authority in the amount of $3,590,486 oh for the purpose of repairs and improvements to the Ashfield Middle School in the form by the City's <coughs> Bond Council, Lock Lord LLP. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO, in accordance with Section 5 of Chapter 324 of the Acts of 1990, certifying the proposed order for an appropriation of and borrowing authority of $3,590,400 $86 for the purposes of making repairs to the Ashfield Middle School, providing that the mayor is willing to propose and the city council is willing to appropriate sufficient funding from the present unused levy capacity under the levy limit of Proposition 2.5 to pay for the annual debt service of the project. Accepted and placed on file. From the Animal Control, requesting a transfer of $10,000 from Stabilization Fund to Animal Control Overtime to cover overtime expenditures through the remainder of the fiscal year. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor, recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO, relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor requesting that the city council accept the first responder NAXA loan grant award in the amount of $43,200 from the Department of Public Health. The award will be split in the amount of $22,320 to the police department oh, is that me? and $20,880 to the fire department to buy the life saving opioid overdose nasal reversal kits. There is no match by the city. Accepted and placed on file. <laughs> From the mayor, recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO, relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the interim chief of police, requesting authorization, authorizing to expend grant monies related to the fiscal year 2015 municipal police servicing grant, services staffing grant from the Executive Office of Public Safety and Security in the amount of $395,164. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor recommending the same. Accepted and placed on file. The CFO relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. From the mayor in accordance with Mass General Law Chapter 44 recommending that the City Council authorize the appropriation of the di divided dividend award in the amount of $339,000 from Mass Department of Housing and Community Development 40R Smart Growth dividend to Brockton Planning Department 40R Smart Growth Dividend Fund. These funds will be used to address the revitalization and improvement plans for the downtown and Campello districts, as well as the historic inventory needed needs of the Lincoln School and assist in the implementation of the home management program. Accepted and placed on file. From the CFO uh, relative to the same. Accepted and placed on file. Appointment of Richard J. Linehan to the rank of Temporary Police Lieutenant in the Brockton Police Department. In City Council, February 9th, 2015, read. The question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Snapper. Yes. Dubois. Yes. Lanieri. Yes. Monahan. Yes. Rodriguez. Just Stewart. Yes. Studinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Kennedy the uh, Appointment has been confirmed. Appointment of Robert J. Morrissey to the rank of temporary police sergeant in the Brockton Police Department. In City Council, February 9, 2015. Red. Uh, the question is on confirmation by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. 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 Dubois. Yes. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. Stewart. Yes. 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 The appointment is confirmed.
ordered that the City Council authorize the approval of the Solar Power and Services Agreement between Sun Edison Origination One LLC no. and the City of Brockton. Um, President, uh, Councilor Sullivan. As uh, you may recall, we uh, we discussed this uh, two weeks ago relative to the amended agreement. Uh, we were uh, it was represented to this body that they would uh, be using union labor, and it was also represented that we would be getting as a collective body a copy of the uh, agreement stating that it would be incorporated therein. I have yet to receive it, and my colleagues have yet to receive it. And I know two weeks ago I stood up and uh, asked for postponement. I'm going to respectfully ask that again because we have yet collectively as a body received this uh, admitted agreement stating that Sun Edison will be using the union labor as they represent it to this party. I make a motion to postpone. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to postpone to the next city council meeting. Correct, Mr. President. It will have it at the next city council meeting. All in favor? Opposed? Opposed. Postponed. <clears throat> Next item. Order that the DPW is authorized to issue one single family home sewer connection to the Barrows Realty Group LLC, uh, 103 South Leiden Street, Brockton, for the property located at parcel ID 180 023, plot 14. Yeah. Mr. President. Councilor Dubois. Um, typically, these are approved as a matter of course here, um, but the reason that there's a sewer moratorium in Ward 6 is that there are some really serious problems with our sewer interceptors there, and Wellsford Street often backs up with raw sewage going into the river there and the smell really bothering the neighbors, and a couple of the neighbors have approached me about this situation, and I spoke with the DPW commissioner, and I'm going to set up a meeting for the residents to meet with the DPW commissioner. I wanted to do it last week, but with all the snow, it was really impossible feat so since it's winter and he can't cut into the ground anyways I'd like to postpone this till next finance committee meeting so the residents could have the meeting before we approve it okay. second. Second. Motion, been, motion been made and second that we Mr. President on the motion council my name is said uh, can we make a request I don't believe there's a 1035 Layton Street uh, that uh, improper address I'd like to see okay. the right address be there okay so I'll look into that so, so just so we have the motion clear, so the motion's been made and seconded, but it's to refer back to our next finance meeting, which would be next, next Monday evening, okay? Okay, motion's been made and seconded to refer back to finance. All in favor? Opposed, it goes back to, back to finance. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, appropriation of $22,500 from Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection, Mass DEP, Mass Electric Vehicle Incentive Program Grant to DPW Refuse Division, Department equipment lease mass electric vehicle incentive program grant fund for the purpose of acquiring one battery electric vehicle and a level two dual head charging station um, questions on adoption by roll call vote mr. clerk please call the roll Azak. yes Fine. yes yes Annapolis. yes 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 Rodriguez. yes Stewart. yes Kedinsky. yes Sullivan. yes the order is adopted Ordered that the City Council hereby declare number 70 Highland Street, the Lincoln School, map 053, route 050, plot 10, available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposer after soliciting requests for proposals. And further, that the mayor be and hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. Um, that was, that was nope. sent to finance, and that report is favorable. Mr. President? Uh, Council Dubois. I, I don't know if this is a question in order right now, but I'd just like to know in the, um, the documents um, that the city solicitor received, does it define who will be on the request for proposal team? Could I make an amendment to make sure that the, the city councilor for this district be <coughs> on the RFP team? I know that when land was sold in Ward 6, I was on the RFP team. The request for proposals when they're opened and right I, I don't know if that's been declared of how that's going to work out um, at this point in time I did think that when we had discussion last week I thought maybe this was going to be referred to real estate sorry so much I wasn't here I apologize thank you we're going to do okay yeah, so so I'm sorry. somebody make that I'm gonna make a motion to refer it to real fit real estate committee second, second. motion been made and seconded that this item be referred to the real estate committee all in favor opposed goes back to the real estate committee Resolved that the Fire Chief Francis, Chief Financial Officer John Condon, and Mayor Bill Carpenter be invited to appear before a committee of this council to purchase two new tower trucks for the Brockton Fire Department. Um, that was sent to finance and that report was favorable. Okay, we jumped ahead to item number 40. 
should be on number 40. 41, yeah, we should be on uh, 40. Right? Yes. Oh, sorry. Number 40. <laughs> okay, yeah, 40. Number 40. That's all right. Sorry. Strike Order. 40. At this point, we'll go back to 40. Order that the City Council hereby declare the Cochrane Building consisting of three parcels. Number 308, Montello Street, map 135, route 074, plot 305, and its associated Montello Street parking lots lo located at map 111, <coughs> route 058, plot 71, and map 135, route 073, plot 304-1, as shown on the attached plan available for disposition and sale to the most advantageous proposed after soliciting requests for proposals, and further that the mayor be in hereby is authorized to execute any and all documents necessary to dispose of said property. Again, Councilor Dinapoli. Uh, Mr. President, I believe we're going to send this also to the Real Estate Commission. Second. Motion to be made and second that this be also be referred back to the Real Estate Committee. All in favor? Opposed? It goes back to the Real Estate Committee. Now, item number 41. <laughs> Okay, resolved that the Fire Chief Francis, Chief Financial Officer John Condon, and Mayor Bill Carpenter be invited to appear before a committee of this council to purchase two new tower trucks for the Brockton Fire Department. Um, that was sent to finance and that report was favorable. The question is on adoption by a roll call vote. Mr. Clerk, please call the roll. Azak. Yes. Barnes. Yes. Cruz. Yes. Napoli. Yes. <coughs> yes. Pioneering. Yes. Monaghan. Yes. Rodriguez. Yes. <coughs> yes. Tudinsky. Yes. Sullivan. Yes. Eleven. <coughs> The order is adopted. Ordered that the mayor and or real estate custodian be authorized to place various parcels of city owned property on the list for sale at auction and to execute any and all documents necessary to effectuate the sale of these properties. Um, that was um, sent to the finance committee and that report was favorable as amended. The, the question is on the amendment. Mr. President, I'd like, Dubois. I would like to refer this to real estate. Do I have a second? It has, my, it has second. multiple of my properties on the list. I would like to discuss it in real estate. Second. In my ward, Ward 6. Motion has been made and seconded that this item be referred back to real estate as well. All in favor? Opposed? It goes back to real estate. Thank you. Number 43. Ordinance. An ordinance amending Chapter 27 of the revised ordinances of the City of Brockton. Be it ordained by the City Council of the City of Brockton as follows. Chapter 27 Zoning, Section 27-4. Designation of zones is hereby amended by adding, adding the following new sec zoning <laughs> district, C-8 Highway Commercial Zone. Refer to uh, ordinance and planning. Ordered in compliance with the provisions of the election laws, notice is hereby given that the special election will be held on Tuesday, May 12th, 2015. Referred to finance. Transfer of $10,000 from finance department personal services other than overtime to animal control personal services overtime in order to provide funding for the additional overtime costs necessary to maintain staffing during periods of unavoidable and unexpected personal absences. Be advised that there is $10,000 is also available in the finance department budget due to a vacant budgeted position. Referred to finance. Appropriation totaling $43,200 for Massachusetts Department of Public Health first responder NAXA loan grant to Brockton Police Department first responder NAXA loan grant fund. $22,230, and to Brockton Fire Department First Responder and Axel Loan Grant Fund, $20,880. These grant funds will be used to buy the life-saving opioid overdose nasal reversal kits. There is no grant match requirement. Referred to finance. Appropriation of $395,164 from Executive Office of Public Safety and Security, Fiscal Year 2015 Municipal Police Service Staffing Grant to Brockton Police Department, Fiscal Year 2015 Municipal Police Services Staffing Grant Fund. These grant funds provide overtime funds for the Brockton Police to use for community policing beats, community policing activities, patrol shift replacement, detective <coughs> investigations, ride-alongs, quality of life, impact shifts, et cetera. There is no required match for these funds. Referred to finance. Ordered that the city of Brockton shall accept a $339,000 40R mm. smart growth incentive dividend from the Commonwealth and reinvest it in planning activities. Referred to finance. Ordered that the city appropriate the amount of $3,861,000 thousand seven hundred and seventy eight dollars for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing including the payment of all costs incidental or related thereto at the Brookfield Elementary School Re referred to finance ordered that the city 
appropriate the amount of $2,075,919 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Barrett Russell Kindergarten. Refer to finance. Order that the city appropriate the amount of $3,590,486 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Ashfield Middle School. Refer to finance. Order that the city appropriate the amount of $2,843,301 for the purpose of paying costs of roof repairs and resurfacing boiler replacement at the Gilmore Early Childhood Center. Refer to finance. Councilors, the last item we have is the granting of the um, uh, conduit on Montello Street, but I don't at this point see where anybody is here. Councilor DiNapoli. Mr. President, we're, I guess, National Grid didn't show up this evening, so maybe we can postpone this to the next city council. Second. Meeting. Motion's been made and second that we postpone this item. Are you from National Grid? Are you from National Grid? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That, that's okay. For the bad form. I, I apologize. I'll, I'll let you do my job this time, but I'm so won't sorry. Be another. I that's apologize. Okay. You do a great job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Motion's been made and seconded to postpone to the next uh, council meeting this particular item. All in favor? Oppose at the next uh, at the next meeting. Councilors, just a couple of things before I take any moments of personal privilege. Just to remind you, next Monday evening, March second, will be our finance uh, meeting. Also, uh, just a reminder: I think uh, you were contacted today as well. The Water Commission is having a meeting this Wednesday evening at uh, 6 p.m. in the GAR room, and that's regarding the water rate hearing. Um, we've all been invited, so for those of us that can attend, I'm not too sure if I can because I work late that evening, but um, I would uh, you know, mention to you that um, you know, if you can make it to, uh, to also uh, try to be present there. And then the other item I just have, um, as you know, one of the jobs that comes along is being president, as you're a member of the 21st Century uh, uh, Corporation, uh, and I will be attending their meeting tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock, and as you all know, you've read uh, articles uh, a few weeks ago in regards to them appointing a new executive director, director excuse me, and uh, that'll be discussed tomorrow, and at some point in time, I will file a resolve to have that uh, executive director, if, if that is uh, passed tomorrow, to be before us to uh, talk about uh, uh, what he's going to be doing in his plans for, um, for the B-21. That's all that I have. Any other? Councilor Isaac. I would like a moment of personal privilege. You may, Councilor. I would like to wish our um, colleague, Councilor Monahan, a happy belated birthday. His birthday was last week, right after our meeting, the following day, and we, I forgot oh, to wish him a happy birthday. birthday. Happy, so happy birthday, birthday. Councilor Monahan. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I will be down at uh, George's Cafe if you want to uh, <laughs> purchase a few. Uh, Are you buying us pizza? Very yeah, good. I will, that's what it is. Council Dubois, did I see you? Yeah, moment of personal you, privilege. Yes, you may, Council. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to take this moment of personal privilege, hopefully folks are watching at home, to just let them know um, that item number 44 on tonight's agenda um, talked about a special election on May 12th, and that um, notice is hereby given, and that we are going to be discussing it next week, and this is in connection to the casino host community agreement. So if you're interested in that, please find it online and read it, and um, hopefully come next week with your input because it's, it's an all or nothing time. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Council. Council Sullivan. President, a moment of personal privilege, if yes, I may. Uh, councilors, uh, myself and my colleague, Councilor at Large Rodriguez, are going to be filing a resolve, and we would encourage if any of you want to join us on this, the, the just of it will be to invite the city solicitor and the mayor to come before us. Uh, it's based upon the unhappiness that we're feeling relative to Aquaria repeatedly not showing up here. Uh, so we will forward out through our legal counsel the resolve that Moses, uh, Council Rodriguez and I have drafted, but I think it's appropriate, and uh, if you'd like to sign on, we'd encourage that. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Councilor. <laughs> any other councilors have any... Anything else to say this evening? Any other business to, be, to come before us this evening? Seeing none, meeting adjourned.